Hey there Fluidity family, Timothy here, your YouTube Road Flow coach, and in today's video I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on the bowler. Now I'll be honest, this isn't a pattern that I've done loads, but I have been playing with it for a fair bit lately, and I do like how simple it is to learn, and yet how dynamic it looks. And because of this limited arm position when we go, it forces us to really mobilize from the spine and the rib cage. I don't know who named it, but I imagine it's called the bowler because it's kind of like underhand bowl in softball, I think it is, or sometimes in a friendly game of cricket, you can bowl underhand as well. It's an underhand pattern, kind of like cheetah's tail, but instead of being at the bottom of a spine by a coccyx, we're up high at the top of the spine by an atlas bone. To begin with then, you may want to just put the rope on the floor and practice what we're going to do with the hands. That's basically one hand to the back of the neck and then scoop with the other hand up and across the body. So in the underhand pattern, you know, we're doing this figure of eight that cuts across the body. What's it, what we need to get right with the bowler is that we're cutting across the body to get the rope from one side over to the other. And then when we're there, we can swap hands. It's kind of like the cheetah's tail. We did this thumbing a ride here like this, we're kind of doing the similar but also the opposite with this at the top of the spine. So hand comes under, back of the neck and scoop through. And we can kind of like, you know, lift the feet. Imagine you're walking with this, feel how much the shoulders are having to really tilt to get through and across on this. So now if you want to add the rope, you might want to do it first in a matador style where we do two spins on each side just to get the timing and used to it, right? So you're going to swing it on one side of you. And when we decide we want to cut across, just before we're going to put the hat, rope behind our head and then cut across. So we're swinging on one side, rope behind the head, cut across. Boom. So you can see, matador style, I'll go side on. So we're doing this action. Boom, boom. Swinging here. When I decide I'm gonna cut across, I'm just gonna go behind the head and, and then cut across with that kind of underhand matador, outside hand leading the charge. Here, boom, across, here, boom, across and just catch it on the other side, like a normal side of an underhand pattern. So cut across, catch it. Cut across, catch it. And then you can go, boom, catch it, go. Boom, catch it, go. Boom, catch it, go. Boom, catch it, go. And then you just need to get that transition so that as you're cutting across, the hands here, you're cutting across, you're gonna swap hands and you're gonna decide that you're gonna cut back across with the next go. You've got the matador version, boom and then you're just going to decide to keep it going. And it is quite an intensely dizzy practice. The head's really moving, but we're really learning to get the coil in the body here. That's kind of why I like it. I can really feel how much this shoulder and this hip are starting to connect and come close together to drive out of that hip, you know. This, what gives us power in our locomotion, this coiled spring here, boom. From here, I guess it would be good to talk about transitions and variations. In terms of transitions, it's a really nice flow from cheetah's tail to the bowler and back again. And another transition that the bowler is really good for, that is actually one of the most commonly difficult transitions for people to get, is how to get out of the sprinter sneak back into a normal rope flow. You see, we've got sprinter sneak. As the hand cuts up and across, it cuts to the back of the neck, and then we're out of the bowler. In the bowler, sprinter sneak. Cut up and across into the bowler, cheetah's tail, bowler, sneak, cheetah's tail, bowler. In the beginning, I recommend just going between underhand and bowler or underhand matador and bowler, but as you put to practice and progress the transitions, as it's pouring down with rain above my head, I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> cheetah's tail and the front on underhand sneak or the sprinter sneak as I like to call it are great things to play with the transition of and if like me you love the cardinal law and you like pivots then bowler is a great pattern to transition out of as we come with this scoop to turn 180 degrees into some sort of overhand pattern on the other side whether it's a sneak or just a matador on that side feels really nice and of course if you're going to go from underhand to overhand you've got to practice the reverse too so thinking about coming from overhand as you cut and swing 180, coming into the underhand, hand behind the head, scoop through into bowler. And 
And of course, you know I like to walk out my patterns too with some traveling drills. Finally, we've got a bonus for you, and apparently this one's called the mullet roll, which is kind of a more symmetrical version of the bowler, where both hands kind of come, almost pinching your ears as you do the pattern. So we've got bowler, and then you kind of keep both hands by the shoulders, and you've got to really time it, and you've got to really sink on each side. That one really gets the head doing a figure of eight, really good for getting that spinal engine as the arms can't do any of the work, it's all coming from the spine. There you have it folks, tutorial for the bowler. If you learned something or enjoyed the video, please give us a like, you know it helps us out. If you have any suggestions for videos, for rope flow tutorials or movement philosophy, please let me know in the comments below, it helps me decide what content to make. And if you wanna get more serious about your rope flow journey, you're not started yet, but you're kind of getting the itch in to get a proper rope or to do my eight week to fluidity course, links to that down below. Other than that, feel free to peruse the YouTube channel. There'll be a, another rope flow tutorial here or some movement philosophy and perhaps if I'm lucky, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.